Leaders and healers, gamers and claimers, ladies and gentlemen from around the universe, from around the globe, from around the community, welcome to the Power, Purpose, and Passion podcast. I am your host, Anthony Cheem, speaker, life coach, author, singer, songwriter, trainer, podcast facilitator, host. Actually, Cameron's the podcast facilitator. I'm just the host. Let's face it, we're a power partner team. And welcome to the Power, Purpose, and Passion podcast. This is a podcast where we help you claim your power, clarify your purpose, and cultivate your deepest, widest, and highest passions possible so you can live it up, you can enhance your life, upgrade your life on a consistent basis so you can feel fulfilled and meaning in your life. And all, the ultimate meaning and fulfillment comes from then taking what you've learned, earned, and then you then return it to the people around you, contribute to the people around you, and you're enhancing everyone around you so we can upgrade together. That's what it's all about. So thank you for joining us on this podcast. It is an absolute pleasure on this great Monday morning and on Monday morning, Monday afternoon. And Cameron, if you uh, you are on the other end of this right now on Instagram, on Facebook, and you are outside, you're doing this podcast outside because we're celebrating June 3rd and a beautiful sunny day. And we've been waiting for this for a very, very long time for some consistent sunny weather. And we're supposed to get some this week with very little rain. So the the uh, the, the the wait was worth it. And anytime I anytime anytime there's a consistent level of bad weather i always i always like to say to people you know consistent you know we can complain about it all the time but it just makes you appreciate the good weather when it does come and cameron's certainly doing that right now so kudos to you and kudos to the people that are joining us on instagram facebook whether you be listening to this uh passively or actively on your phone on your mp3 mp3 player or listening to your car wherever you are we're here to serve we're here to give to you and i'm here to provide for you the best of what i've learned and returned in 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 studying and cultivating and experience in life at the highest levels possible and deeper and deeper my life just keeps getting deeper and deeper despite some of the trivialities and some of the circumstances that inevitably show up in life i am always always looking at it as a blessing turning my bless my burdens into blessings and you know i i must say i just recently read a book and it with the one line in it was something like this was the line i I, it was it was something on the lines of God uses everything, good or bad. And I can tell you, uh, I, I want to be able to be used by this beautiful, beautiful uh, planet, this universe to to make uh, this world a bit better. And so we're getting a little bit of feedback on the Instagram, and it's kind of gone off. For some reason, Cam, you kind of went off on the Instagram. So if you request me again there, I don't know what happened there. Um, am I on or are you on? Um, do you see that I'm there? Okay, no worries. No, yeah, no worries. Um, anyways, in any case, today's podcast is going to be how to take your life, taking your life to the next level. Um, and I'm always doing that. And all, I, I'm always looking to, to, to be better, to experience more. I'm a guy that just wants to experience it all. Uh, that can be, have its good side and its downside all the time because then I'm, I'm always trying to achieve and trying to uh, get an outcome or get a result. But taking your life to the next level doesn't necessarily mean achieving. It could just be, be me. It could just mean you just trying something new. It could just mean taking, you know, setting a new standard in your life or it, just, it could just mean as a uh, we celebrate June 1st on Saturday. Uh, we talked about virtues, practicing a virtue per month. And this virtue that I'm practicing this month is patience. <laughs> so it's certainly, it's certainly practicing patience, um, you know, is, is one of those things. Uh, if, you, if you were to decide to practice the virtue of, of patience, let me tell you, you'll start to realize how impatient you actually are. Um, and it'll test you. So I'm certainly finding that. But that, that is my next level. Going back, returning back to fundamentals and understanding that these fundamentals and mastering fundament, basic fundamentals are, is what really take, it's what it really takes for us to, to, to enhance and upgrade our life on a consistent basis, going back to fundamentals. And, and this month, June 1st, I have already, already three, four days into it. And man, have I been tested, but being tested is allows you to look deep with inside yourself. And so you can grow those interior muscles and forgive me. I didn't introduce Cam. Man, I go, I go off on these crazy tangents. What's up, Cam? How you doing? No worries. No worries. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm doing very well. Obviously, like you mentioned, I'm outside. And I have waited all winter for this. So, yeah, I definitely appreciate it more than somebody would in the middle of August or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. I remember uh, Tony Robbins was saying, you know, oh, I got to make all these phone calls and, you know, I really don't want to do it. And then he decides, hey, I'll do it in my jacuzzi. And then these phone calls won't be so bad. And I feel that way about just bringing my desk outside and bringing my, you know, computer outside and doing everything here is, yeah. uh, 
it's just like a better environment it's scientifically proven that when you put your feet on the earth um you mm-hmm. get better sleep at night when you expose yourself to the sunlight you get a better rest at night so um it's good to i don't know it just feels right it feels great and yeah. uh yeah. yeah i remember uh i i i remember texting you a while ago saying patience is a virtue <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm, I'm really i'm really glad that you've decided to um do that because i mean obviously the last few weeks of your life have been running around all yeah. waiting on people and all this stuff yeah. right so Got it. uh pa- i feel like that the world is telling you it's time to practice patience yeah yeah amen brother amen amen and, and that's what it really takes i mean uh, next level living upgrading your life on a consistent basis. That doesn't necessarily mean achieving, it could mean achieving the next level of academic success or, you know, financial success or relationship success or whatever it might be. But, but the reality is, is that we, uh, I I think in, in my mind anyway, in my opinion, that next level living could just mean taking a step back and looking at your life and re-examining life, not taking a step forward, but taking a step back and saying, hold on, what's really important now? Because sometimes we get caught up. We get caught up in the moment. We get caught up in the achieving aspects of life. We get caught up in work. We get caught up in work. And oftentimes, we've got to step back. And that's why I, 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 I decided to practice patience this month because I realized I need to be more patient with myself, with other people. And as you said, Cam, I'm, there's been a lot of demands thrown in my on my lap, a lot of which I have no control over. And my schedule is already full. So I'm spreading myself too thin and it's become a little bit overwhelming. So oftentimes, you know, um, I need to take a few steps back and that is my upgrade that, that then becomes my next level of living. Now for the people that want to take their, 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 their life to the next level in terms of achievement, I can tell you every time I've ever taken my life to a next level, I've always opened myself up to a new scary challenge because that's when humans are at their best when they're, when they're scared they're excited they're being challenged something new um something feels like you're contributing to the next level that's when your your, your reward centers or your brain are turned on the most when you're being challenged something new something exciting and you feel like you're making a contribution so if you're looking to take your life to the next level i can tell you that one of the best ways to do is to look at those three things are you being challenged is there something new and exciting are you just living the same mundane routine life where it's kind of just every day is the same thing um, do you feel like you're making a contribution? And if you are, could you take your contribution level to the next level in terms of time, energy, love, money, whatever it might be for you? And oftentimes that turns on the reward centers of your brain and that activates your physiology, activates your, your focus abilities, and you're able to, to charge yourself with a, with, with a new level of excitement and a new level of power in, in your body and in your life. So I'm certainly, I'm certainly on the way of doing this. There's a few things I'm, a uh, few projects I'm, I'm getting finished up. And once those things are done. I've already have a, a few, a few of my own personal projects I have set up um, after uh, upon com- completion. I won't share them with you now, but I'm excited for them. Um, and just to know that I have a few projects of my own uh, on on the horizon excites me alone. So, uh, any any thoughts there, Cam? Yeah, um, I like that you sort of mentioned that taking things to the next level doesn't always necessarily mean achieving more. Um, mm-hmm. Or like doubling your outcomes in a certain area. Sometimes it really is about uh, enjoying the little things and accepting the things that you can't change, and just having that that strength and courage to do that. You know, because mm-hmm. uh, it's definitely not easy, um, and we're not really taught these things. We're not taught how to get through a stressful situation yeah. and, and how to how to cope with certain emotions or. Um, things like that so i mean and my definition of taking things to the next level would be um myself not in what i do but in the way i react to the world Mm -hmm. um because if you can control the way you react to things then then you're in control of everything essentially because because everything starts with you so i i I really like that you uh mentioned that because i think this society is is way too saturated with um achievement achieving 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 you have to accomplish this and accomplish that and and be more productive and all this stuff when i mean i i don't don't know if you agree with this but i believe that the purpose of life is to first and foremost be good (laughs) to enjoy (laughs) yourself to to feel good to um not be stressed not be any of that to find what what you want to do with your life it's it's your life you do whatever you want to do if achievement 
um, is what everybody else is telling you to do, but that doesn't, you don't want to, uh, go down that path or that path is stressful, then, then don't do it. Um, it's weird how sort of self-worth is always tied to yeah. what I'm doing. Cause yes, when yes. you introduce yourself, we're, we're basically conditioned to introduce, introduce ourselves by our achievements. So if I was to say, Hey, who are you? You'd say, oh, my name's Anthony. I'm a life coach. Yeah. I do this for a living. I went to these places and I've wrote, I've written these books and I have this podcast yet. You could easily just say, I'm Anthony. I really like music. I love, um, meditation. Nature calms me. It's a beautiful thing. And then, and then it's like, okay, cool. We'll get into your accomplishments later, but I want to know who you are, what you like, what, yeah. what yeah. turns you on, you know? But yeah, that's just a few words on that. No, and I appreciate that because, you know, I was, it reminds me, on the weekend, I went out Saturday, I played at church, I sang at church on, at five o'clock mass, and after church, I said, you know what, I haven't been spontaneous in a while, I'm, t I'm, I'm just going to surprise my kids and just drive down to Niagara Falls. <laughs> and I just, I literally said, okay, all right, we're going, we're driving. And we went down to Niagara Falls, no, no plan, no agenda totally off kilter, totally in the moment, totally spontaneous. And, you know, I remember my wife even saying to me a while ago saying, you know, you're, you're so driven like during the week. And then on Sunday, Saturdays and Sundays, you're driven as well. There's really like, I like, I kind of like that old Anthony to come out once in a while to, to kind of be spontaneous and not be this routine driven like person. And part of me was hurt by that. I'm like, I like that new driven party. But the part of me is she wasn't trying her intent, her positive intention behind that wasn't to judge me and say, you're a whole person for being driven is once in a while to kind of, kind of integrate with the old me that was amazing with the old parts of me that were, were great that I'm not necessarily honoring right now. And so we had an amazing time. We went to this like Canadian midway and played all these games. We, you know, went up for this dinner at our favorite Italian restaurant and it was amazing. We just had a great time. No agenda. We didn't care about what, what time it was, nothing. And it was just totally, and that to me is next level living. You know, Socrates says, you know, learning is remembering. Learning is remembering who you are and what's really important. And that to me, you could not give me a million dollars in the world right now to replace that memory that I, that we created together as a family. That was totally spontaneous. That to me is next level living too. I wasn't achieving anything. I was just aware that, you know what? What my wife was saying to me, she likes the old fun, playful, clowny Anthony to come out once in a while with the family and let go of my agenda, let go of this routine. And I had the most amazing time. So that was my next level living fundamental. It was great. And then, and, you know, just as you said, Cam, you, you know, you said, you know, it's, it's important that you say to people, it's not just about achieving, it's about taking a step back and maybe shifting your beliefs, maybe being more playful in the moment rather than like rigid and strict. And those are important upgrades too. So we got to upgrade the left part of the brain, our skills and the right part of our brain, our playfulness, our creativity, our genius. And I can tell you that it is an absolute, absolute miracle when we integrate our left and right brains, our left and our right life, if you want to call it. And that's when we explode with power, purpose, and passion. So thank you for joining. Sorry about the echo, guys. I know we've had a couple comments and a little bit of echo on our on your end. It could be me. It could be whatever, technology. But you can listen to the podcast, the recorded podcast on iTunes. Just subscribe to Power, Purpose, and Passion podcast on the iTunes uh, app. Subscribe and you'll get a, a the unfiltered, unscrambled version that Cam so beautifully does and edits it. And it's being recorded on a professional app that we're doing right now. And he goes and ed edits and does his magic. Anyway, so to your continued upgrade and ev evolution, thank you for your insight. Thank you for joining. Live it up with power, purpose, and passion. God bless you guys. We'll see you again soon. Take care.